Join me right now is Brave Combat Federation featherweight Rolando Gabriel D. What's going on, Rolando? Hello, hello, sir. Um, uh, I feel tired, but yeah, I, I, I believe in uh, three weeks from now, I'll be ready to fight the uh, Pakistani. Alright, well, let's talk about your last fight. You went over to Abu Dhabi Warriors. You got the quick uh, TKO finish. How satisfying yeah. were you, was it to get back into the winner's circle after, you know, your tough run in the UFC? Yeah, I mean, Abu Dhabi Warrior, that, that fight is the, the real me, you know. In the, in the, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not making any reasons in my, in my run in UFC because that's the high, first, first, that's the highest level of the sport and I'm proud to be, to compete in UFC. And second is, you know, uh, uh, I, I don't, I don't feel that, you know, I gave everything in my first run in UFC, so I'm, I'm planning to, to you know, re rewrite my UFC run because you know I, I, a lot of factors, you know, late notice fights, late notice fights, and like couple of you know injuries I've been having while I'm fighting in UFC, and now you know uh, I, I I learned my lesson and and also in Abu Dhabi Warriors they gave me like one month and, and like almost two months to prepare for that fight so. Uh, I I I'm, I'm happy I'm happy that I I showed what I can do against him. And I I'm, I I never been a sunburger, so so they gave me a nine one Jordanian who they consider the best featherweight in Middle East. And I, I I took it even you know it's a risky risky fight. I took it because you know I I I feel that I that I can be I really can really beat the guy and I'm up to challenge and I beat him. I'm so happy. If you look at your record, you never, you know, shy away from tough fights. You always take the biggest fights. I always notice that about you. I never, I, ne I never, I, even, you know, I don't, even in my share of record, all of those fights, I never, I never choose my opponent. Mm -hmm. I never, like, I, I hate fighting for, for the record only, you know. I mean, I, I, some fighters do that. I mean, I, I don't judge them, I, don't, I understand them, but I have my own views and ideas in fighting. And the, one of the best reasons why I'm fighting, because I'm a warrior, I'm a fighter, I'm not a businessman. So, you know, um, if you're shy, if you're fighting just for the record, I mean, you're fighting just to bully somebody. And, you know, you can brag in Facebook and Internet after you, you, you beat a nobody guy. Who have no chance of winning against you? I don't. I don't think there is an honor in that. I think I believe losing to a better guy is more honorable than winning to a, some somebody who don't know how to fight. And that's my that's my view as a fighter, and I will I will stand and and stick on that view my entire fighting career. Now you return to Brave at Brave Twenty Two in Manila. It has been a long time since you've competed in the Philippines. How excited are you? I'm really excited. Uh, you know, um, just last time I fought in Manila is I fought Matsushima. Now he's, he's, he's you know, killing people in 1FC and in also in punk race. Uh, I knocked him out in 15 seconds in, in, in PXC 53, I think. 55, yeah. Mm -hmm. I 53, yeah, and I, I, I knocked Matsushima out, and you know I'm planning to do the same thing in 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 March 15 against this Pakistani, and he have good record also, and we'll see, we'll see if that record really, you know, I'm I'm a critic of people of fighters with good records until I fight them because you know. Record doesn't matter sometimes because they, like I said, they always do that. Like fight, fight, fight people. Who are, I mean, I'm not saying that they are not good, but you know, they they do that. Like they fight people who are not good. They sandbag. They they fake it until they make it. You know, and I, I hate that thing. So when uh, these Pakistani have good record, but when I research about his record. He fought like a lot of Filipinos who who doesn't even exist in the MMA circle in the Philippines. 
you know, uh, he fought, he fought, he fought Escayo. Escayo has never been fighting in the big leagues here in the Philippines. Escayo is just like, you know, you know, really, maybe, I'm not kicking him down, but he's like a very, very average Filipino athlete. And that's the last guy that he, he beat. And he, he beat an unknown Filipino fighter also, who I never heard of. In his second to the last fight, and he, he have, you know, he he submitted the guy in third round. I mean, if that guy will fight in here in the Philippines against a lakai against me, he, that guy will not will not even last the first round. So I'm always a critic of fighters who have good records like that, and I I want him to prove that his record really can his record is really you know. Can can buff it up. You know, so I, I want to I want to I want to pass his record. I'm really excited because I'm planning to finish in the in the first or second. I don't think you in my views in my views and in my how, how we, I like to imagine the fight. I I don't think he will he will last until 15, unless that I will and I I I don't think he will last until third round unless he I will enter with an extreme injury or I will enter sick. But if I'm healthy, as like what I'm feel what I'm feeling right now, I don't think he will last till third round. But at the end of the day it's a game, it's a fine game. And I can't I'm treating him as a danger and I'm afraid of him. You know, I, I'm I'm not lying that I don't I don't I don't I don't experience fear. I'm always afraid. And that's that's you know that I respect him that he can put he can put me out. He can destroy me if I'll be too confident. So you know, I'll, I'll, I'm treating him as a very good opponent. I'm preparing for him, but I believe he will not last that until third round. The opponent that you're referring to is Mamoose Rasa. He is, yeah. like you mentioned, from the Pakistan. He has competed in the Philippines. Um, now, where do you see your advantages against him? I think in all aspect of the game. Maybe I don't know in the in the fight. You know, fighters fighters evolve. You know, I mean, three months. I mean, when is the last time he fought? He fought. He fought in Brave. His last the last time he fought. That's like more maybe, maybe six months from now, right? Five months from now. I mean, five months is a uh, quite a big, you know, big uh, quite a lot of months to prepare and to improve your skills. So maybe he he will come out and surprise me. Maybe. I don't know, but if I will base his skills, his skill, his past fights, and I will compare it to my skills, I think in all aspect of the game, I am, I am, in terms of cardio, I don't think he have the gas, he have the gas to, to last. I mean, in terms of power, in terms of size, in terms of, in terms of jujitsu wrestling. Muay Thai boxing, how to mix it up. I don't think there's he have some he have some advantage over me. And yeah, he took the fight though. He took the fight, so I. But the, he have the guts to took the fight, maybe. And I think he have the he have he thinks that there is some areas of the game that he can be, defeat me. So yeah, that 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 you know I respect that. So I, I'm. I, I'm, I'm prepared in in all aspect of the game, in everything he he will offer, but the game plan is you know, to to destroy him. If he will take, he he wants to go for the clinch, I'll wrestle him. If he wants to he, he go for the shoot, I'll I'll submit him. I'll smash him. I'll submit him. He wants to take to make this this a striking battle and knock him out. I saw that you have been sparring with a WBC champion. How is yeah. it stepping into the ring with a, a world-class boxer? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, like in America, you know, America, they're number one, number one sport is wrestling, and they are really good wrestlers. And you can in the fight they use that in the wrestling they use it in MMA. In Russia, they have very good sambo. They train other arts and they use sambo in MMA and they're turning really good. Why we Filipinos can't use boxing in MMA and we are really good at it? 
we should like be good in jujitsu. If not good, maybe just an average jujitsu guy, average wrestler, average Muay Thai fighter, and let's use our boxing to defeat these foreign fighters. No, I, I believe our if if this if with the boxing that that we have, Filipino boxer that we have, and we and and these Filipino boxers can be taken down because they have wrestling. Imagine that, you know. So I have a I have a average wrestling. I am a purple belt in jiu-jitsu, and I have and I can hang with a WBC boxing champ. And what this what this Pakistani will offer it to me that I can't I can't I can't handle. If I believe if he if he decide to stand, I, I will knock him out. I mean, he, uh, the 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 skills. And the W and the, the sparring, sparring with the WBC champ, the speed is different, the power is different, the technique is different, the the precision, the timing is different. And now I'm facing a Pakistani guy who are very who have a mediocre striking. Well, you know, so it they, it gives me a lot of confidence coming to this fight. You go to Brave 22, you get the win. What is what is in the future for you? Um, like what I said earlier, like I I think I didn't show the best version of me in my UFC run. They gave me two weeks notice against a veteran Alex Caceres. I was shocked, you know, when I entered the cage. I felt like it's it's I I just came from amateur. So that's and that's two weeks notice. I never had a chance. I I never prepared for that. But it was a it was a good fight. I was injured in my eye. And my second fight, you know, I believe I you know, I knocked out I knocked out Ichihara in the second, but he acted it's, that it's a groin shot. I I know that it's not a groin shot. I I, I, I I felt his ribs in my knee and he acted it's a groin shot. In the in the third round I hit him with a groin shot. My bad, but I believe before that I knocked him out. So it's a bit, it's a factor. Those are the factors we should consider. And in the, I, I, I got my UFC win. I got my UFC win two weeks notice again after they they kicked me out from UFC. I got my I got my UFC win two weeks notice in the in in China two weeks notice also after they kicked me out. Then they 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 decide to okay okay come back then fight this guy. They think that I will lose because you know it's a two weeks notice and I won, and they I fought Shane Young with a partial ACL, with a partial ACL, and not my reason. Shane Young is a really good fighter, but I won the fight of the night, and it's a it's a, it's a good fight. You know, I never I, I deep in my heart I never it's it's I like in my run UFC I I, I did not show show the best version of me. And my plan is to be back in UFC, kill everyone who kill everyone. I will not choose any fight. I will fight the best in Pakistan, the best in Jordan, the best of Bahrain, the best of any country. And I will fight for Abu Dhabi belt, they said, this April or the next month. I will kill everyone and go back to UFC and write my UFC career. That's my plan. And by God's help, I know I can do it. All right, one last question before I let you go. You know, I don't interview with fighters from all over the world, many different countries. They all have different tastes in music. What are you listening to right now? Who are the, your favorite artists? Favorite artists? <laughs> I'm not really into music, but, you know, I I like Filipino music. Uh, I'm, I'm a nationalistic kind of guy. I like, I don't like rap music, to be honest. I, I like those those mellow music that can make me relax uh, before before training and after training. You know, I have a lot of, you know, I have a lot of testosterone, you know, testosterone and a lot of aggression in, in the gym and in the fight, you know, and outside of the gym and uh, not in the fight, in relaxing in my bed while driving, I like Listening to love songs, to be honest. Love songs, you know, slow ballads that can make my mind relax. Because, you know, a lot of aggression in my job. So, you know, 
in my rest time, I like to use music as a relaxation. All right, March fifteenth, like, yeah. Brave twenty two, Memrus Rasa, yeah. Manila. Thank you, Rolando, for your time and good luck Thank on you your so fight. Thank you so much, sir. It's a, it's a, it's an honor to be interviewed by you.